In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective bomb tactic that you can use in Madden 22. This is out of the Washington football team's gun bunch playbook. Uh, I know that Skimbo runs this playbook. I have a ton of respect for him. I think he's arguably the best Madden player. I don't even know if it's arguably. I mean, he's the best Madden player of all time, at least at the MCS era for sure. And this dude is just, he just wins games. He is such a brilliant mind on both the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. And so uh, he's actually, in my opinion, responsible for setting a lot of the meta this year. Uh, 245 odd, I know, was something that he was running at the beginning of the year. And I know a lot of pro players are now running it. And then I know that he's running the gun bunch, of course, and pretty much everybody's running gun bunch. So, um, you know, shout outs to him. If you haven't watched any of his streams or whatever, I know he streams every single day. But this is a play that he's super high on. And uh, this is something that I think, you know, needs to be broken down as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, subscribe. I also have an entire bunch ebook. I actually have a bunch offense and a bunch tight end offensive guide. So if you want to learn those two, I would say that those two are predominantly the meta that you're going to see in Madden this year. Um, you can get both of those ebooks uh, at my True Fan membership. That's just 10 bucks a month. Breaks down everything that you can do at a bunch, everything that you can do at a bunch tight end. And we actually show, you know, multiple playbooks versions of bunch. So we show Washington's bunch, we show Seattle's bunch, we show Carolina's bunch. Uh, so we try to give you, you know, all of the meta stuff, everything, but then also some stuff that, you know, pro some pros aren't even, you know, on their radar. So that being said, if you want to get access to that, that link is down in the description as well as the comment section below. Uh, but we're talking today about clear out FLN. And um, you need a slot apprentice or a hot route master. Most of you are probably running Dan Marino. And if you're not running Dan Marino, you could probably get a slot apprentice. I know that I think um, I think Jordan Shipley gets it. I know he's probably super cheap right now. Uh, and then, of course, there's a lot of Raider uh, receivers that will get that for like 1 AP or 2 AP. So anyways, clear out FLN. Let's break down this, this concept. So this is an absolute laser, uh, especially against cover three. So all we're going to do is we're going to put a corner route on the outside guy, and that's it. Snap the ball. And what you'll see is this R1 receiver will pretty much always get over the top. And, of course, as soon as I say that, he doesn't. Um, let me show you again. Normally this normally this guy gets over the top. So if you need a – you can also smart route that R1 receiver. So you see here I just had to wait on him a little bit longer. But, I mean, as long as you got a fast guy there, it's really hard to stop. Like, it's really – especially – what I like about this bomb the most – is it's really good against any coverage. Um, it doesn't just have to be cover three. We're going to go over that in a minute. But you'll see here, just right up the seam. You want to pass lead that up. Um, where I was making a mistake on the first throw where I threw the pick is I was pass leading it out. You ideally want to pass lead it up. Um, the beauty of the clear out route is you've got this uh, route to your tight end that is going to basically dumb out the safety over the middle, which really helps it, I think, significantly against cover three. The cool part about this, too, is um, is the fact that your tight end route against cover three, let's say they press it so that safety is on the other hash. Um, watch this tight end route against cover three, too. And I might get matched here. Yeah, I didn't get matched. Let me shade, let me shade my coverage down so I don't get matched. Most people aren't going to run – you know, cover three with hook curls. They're going to run some kind of cover three Mabel. Um, you know, so anyways, let me show you. So watch the tight end. And this is what's so cool about this. It's actually a double bomb. You can pass lead this right up in the seam, just like that right there. So typically their user is going to have to go to the tight end, which is going to then leave uh, Scotty Miller wide open. Now this bomb is even better to the short side of the field. So a lot of the, the real power of Gun Bunch, in my opinion, is how good it is. One of the main things that's really good about it is how well it can you can flip it. So you could, like, I can flip it and watch how fast I can snap this ball. Like I could do this, and you see we're already over there. We're ready to go. And if they're running cover three, as long as Brady doesn't get shedded, you know, get my life shedded away. Um, you know, I can I can snap this ball super fast. Um, and I just think this this is what makes this so good. I mean, this is truly what makes this so good. And again, I'm getting absolutely shedded in this in this video in this video, so I'm gonna spy them. But what you're gonna see against cover three, I don't know why I'm getting so shedded too. Um, but anyway, what you're gonna see against cover three to the short side is it's gonna actually probably work even better. So you see, you just snap the ball. 
and you'll see that corner on the right just gives out and as you can see we're glitching cover three to the short side the other reason why i like this especially to the right side of the field okay is what this can do against things like uh cover two because you've got your seam read and that seam read is really really good so it looks something like this so if you watch your tight end i can hit that tight end up the seam a lot but i can also kill cover two with that fade to the r1 receiver to me that's a huge thing um this r1 receiver really is one of the better routes in the game a lot of people like to do this they love to baseline and press this year uh against this so if they baseline and press you watch this fade to the right if you got a good quarterback like a brady you can or not, or not brady but a uh, dan marino and mutt he can make that throw you know probably 10 times out of 10 if not at least nine times out of 10 that's going to be a touchdown and if you want to make it even better, I like to smart route these routes. I think it helps him significantly. That could just be me. Because you see here, it just gives him a better fade once he gets that release. And again, Brady underthrew it. But you see what I'm talking about. That route uh, really does get in a, in a tender position uh, against a lot of what people are going to do. So let me just show you standard cover two here. Pass lead that to the right. There you see I'm beating cover two. Okay, so you're able to beat cover two. Now, especially if their user, so let's say their user is the linebacker. Well, now their linebacker, assuming that they're going Mabel, their linebacker has to make a decision in the cover two. And, and this is where I really, for this specific play, I really like to take that running back and put him on a uh, underneath route. You could just leave him on his route. But now look at this tight end. This tight end will split the seam so well and to me, this is what makes this play so hard to guard. Because you have the you have the fade, you have the corner, and then you have, I mean, this to me is the perfect route combo. Um, and then you could take the square receiver over there and drag him or whatever. But I mean, you'll see, this thing just absolutely obliterates cover three. And again, I got shedded, but anyways. So that's the idea. So now, let me show you how this works. Let me see if I have match. So against cover four show two, uh, this is a popular defense, quarters, match, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you should see here that your tight end will have a pretty good chance of getting over the top. Your, um, your slot, and I'll show you a little trick with this, your slot will occasionally get over the top just because. Um, I found that, again, if you, if you take that corner and you motion him to the outside and just let him set his feet, so like that right there. Oftentimes you're gonna get this right here uh, where you're gonna get that safety one-on-one -on -one with that with that super fast guy. Now right there, Adams did pick me, but you know that's just something you can mess with. I know that this beats cover four uh, drop as well, but you know it's really, in my opinion, best against cover three. The other thing about cover three is let's say that they deep half their safety or their corners. It's like, I'm gonna deep half my corners. Watch R1, you'll see here, if they do deep half, I can just hit the corner, okay? And again, I didn't hit it, but I'll show you real quick. So if I'm reading this, right, I see, oh, they suction in, okay? Then I'm just gonna go to the corner and secure catch that on the sideline. So this play is really a play that can beat every defense. And, you know, to me, that's really what makes a great play in Madden. It's something that can beat every single coverage um, and also has the potential to beat a lot of coverages for a one play score, a lot of the popular coverages. So to me, the clear out FLN, I didn't cover everything about this. We talk a little bit more heavy about this in our, but on our bunch guide, but this play right here kills cover three kills cover two and can kill a lot of different defenses. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offense, there's a link down in the description to my true fan membership that gets you access to every single ebook that I will release in the Madden 22 season, as long as your subscription is active. It also gets you access to exclusive tips. Like I said, it's 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you want, um, but we cover all kinds of stuff, man. We cover, uh, we, we've got 10 ebooks out right now, eight of them on defense. So if you're struggling on defense, I got a lot of really good resources for you. So thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.